Welcome, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Jesus told his disciples, If any want to become my followers, let them deny themselves and take up their cross and follow me. For those who want to save their life will lose it, and those who lose their life for my sake will find it. And so a warm welcome to St John's Hills Road on this Good Friday. And today we will be following Christ through the Stations of the Cross, through Bible readings, art and poetry. Traditionally there are 14 Stations of the Cross and they have formed part of the Christian devotion at Passiontide for many centuries because they enable us to engage actively with the path of suffering walked by Jesus. Stations of the Cross originated when early Christians visited Jesus and wanted to literally follow in his footsteps, tracing the path from Pilate's house to Calvary. They would pause for prayer and devotion at various points along the way, and eventually those pilgrims brought the practice back to their home countries, and ever since Christians of differing traditions have used this as a form of devotion. There are various versions of the Stations of the Cross, but the ones chosen in this service are a scripturally rooted set, suitable for all traditions. And so during this service there will be a short time for personal meditation after each station. But if you would like to give yourself longer time to reflect and meditate, please do feel free to use the pause button, perhaps even spending your, your, spreading your following of the stations across a whole morning or even longer. And so we begin this service by singing together, There is a green hill far away. There is a green hill far away without a city wall where the dear Lord was crucified who died to save us all. We may not know, we cannot tell what pains he had to bear but we believe it was for us he hung and suffered there. He died that we might be forgiven, he died to make us good, that we might go at last to him, saved by his precious blood. Let us pray. Almighty and everlasting God, who in your tender love towards the human race sent your Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ, to take upon him our flesh and to suffer death upon the cross, grant that we may follow the example of his patience and humility and also be made partakers of his resurrection. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Holy God, holy and strong, holy and immortal, have mercy upon us. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. 
A reading from the Gospel according to Mark. They went to a place called Gethsemane, and he said to his disciples, Sit here while I pray. He took with him Peter and James and John, and began to be distressed and agitated. And he said to them, I am deeply grieved, even to death. Remain here and keep awake. And going a little farther, he threw himself on the ground and prayed that if it were possible, the hour might pass from him. He said, Abba, Father, for you all things are possible. Remove this cup from me. Yet not what I want, but what you want. Gethsemane by Ella Wheeler Wilcox In golden youth, when seemed the earth a summer land of singing mirth, when souls are glad and hearts are light and not a shadow lurks in sight, we do not know it, but there lies somewhere veiled under evening skies a garden which we all must see, the garden of Gethsemane. With joyous steps we go our ways, love lends a halo to our days. Light sorrows sail like clouds afar, we laugh and say how strong we are. We hurry on and hurrying go close to the borderland of woe that waits for you and waits for me, forever waits Gethsemane. Down shadowy lanes, across strange streams, bridged over by our broken dreams, behind the misty caps of years, beyond the great salt fount of tears, the garden lies. Strive as you may, you cannot miss it on your way. All paths that have been, or shall be, pass somewhere through Gethsemane. All those who journey, soon or late, must pass within the garden's gate, must kneel alone in darkness there and battle with some fierce despair. God pity those who cannot say, not mine, but thine, who only pray, let this cup pass, and cannot see the purpose of Gethsemane. Lord Jesus, you entered the garden of fear and faced the agony of your impending death. Walk with those who shared that agony, those who face death unwillingly, those who are at the cusp of life-changing decisions, and all who feel alone in their struggles. As you shared our fear and knew the weakness of our humanity, give strength and hope to all who are dispirited and despairing. Amen. Holy God, holy and strong, holy and immortal, have mercy upon us. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. A reading from the Gospel according to Mark. Immediately, while he was still speaking, Judas, one of the twelve, arrived. And with him there was a crowd with swords and clubs, from the chief priests, the scribes and the elders. Now the betrayer had given them a sign, saying, The one I will kiss is the man. Arrest him and lead him away under guard. So when he came, he went up to him at once and said, Rabbi, 
and kissed him. Then they laid hands on him and arrested him. And this is from Shakespearean Sketches by William Radici. When in their youth he seemed so far away, a dreamy child, not taking in what she would say, there was still something princely in his pensiveness and something noble in his handsomeness, so that loving him she forgave him, forgiving him loved him. And when war came to take him truly far away, and he betrayed her more than he would say, there was a power in his letter's boyishness, a kingly image still to guide her loneliness, so that loving him she forgave him, forgiving him loved him. And when, as children grew, he looked elsewhere for play and seized each opportunity to stray, she still saw something godlike in his childishness, a guileless innocence in his ruthlessness, so that loving him, she forgave him forgiving him, loved him. And when, white-haired, his passion slipped away and there was little left to fill each day, she found him childlike in his touchy idleness, but royal in his aged sturdiness so that loving him, she forgave him, forgiving him, loved him. And then she died too soon. Now she was gone away. Oh, had she seen the old remorseful tears he shed each day? she would have found them recompense for faithfulness, a twice-blessed token of her mercy's heavenliness, who, loving him, forgave him, forgiving him, loved him. Jesus, you were betrayed by the kiss of a friend. Be with those who are betrayed and slandered and falsely accused. As you knew the experience of having your love thrown back in your face for mere silver, be with families which are torn apart by mistrust or temptation. Amen. Holy God, holy and strong, holy and immortal, have mercy upon us. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. A reading from the Gospel according to Mark. 
Now the chief priests and the whole council were looking for testimony against Jesus to put him to death, but they found none. For many gave false testimony against him, and their testimony did not agree. Some stood up and gave false te testimony against him, saying, We heard him say, I will destroy this temple that is made with hands, and in three days I will build another not made with hands. But even on this point their testimony did not agree. Then the high priest stood up before them and asked Jesus, Have you no answer? What is it that they testify against you? But he was silent and did not answer. Again the high priest asked him, Are you the Messiah, the Son of the Blessed One? Jesus said, I am, and you will see the Son of Man seated at the right hand of the power and coming with the clouds of heaven. Then the high priest tore his clothes and said, Why do we still need witnesses? You have heard his blasphemy. What is your decision? All of them condemned him as deserving death. At a Calvary near Ancre by Wilfred Owen One ever hangs where shelled roads part. In this war he too lost a limb, but his disciples hide apart, and now the soldiers bear with him. Near Golgotha strolls many a priest, and in their faces there is pride, and they were flesh-marked by the beast, by whom the gentle Christ denied. The scribes on all the people shove and bawl allegiance to the state, but they who love the greater love lay down their life they do not hate. Lord Jesus, you were the victim of religious bigotry. Walk with those who are persecuted by small-minded authority and narrow views of faith. As you face the condemnation of fearful hearts, deepen the understanding of those who shut themselves off from the experience and wisdom of others. Amen. Holy God, holy and strong, holy and immortal, have mercy upon us. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. A reading from the Gospel according to Mark. At that moment the cock crowed for the second time. Then Peter remembered that Jesus had said to him, before the cock crows twice, you will deny me three times. And he broke down and wept. The Meaning of the Look by Elizabeth Barrett Browning I think that look of Christ might seem to say, Thou, Peter, art thou then a common stone which I at last must break my heart upon? For all God's charge to his high angels may guard my foot better. 
Did I yesterday wash thy feet, my beloved, that they should run quick to deny me neath the morning sun? And do thy kisses like the rest betray? The cock crows coldly. Go and manifest a late contrition, but no bootless fear. For when thy deathly need is obdurate, thou shalt not be denied, as I am here. My voice to God and angels shall attest, because I know this man, let him be clear. Lord Jesus, as Peter betrayed you, you experience the double agony of love rejected and friendship denied. Be with those who know no friends and are rejected by society. And as you understood the fear of within Peter, help us to understand the anxieties of those who fear for their futures. Amen. Holy God, Holy and strong, holy and immortal, have mercy upon us. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. A reading from the Gospel according to Mark. Pilate asked them, Why? What evil has he done? But they shouted all the more, Crucify him! So Pilate, wishing to satisfy the crowd, released Barabbas for them, and after flogging Jesus, he handed him over to be crucified. An extract from Pilate's Wife's Dream by Charlotte Bronte. <clears throat> I do not weep for Pilate. Who could prove regret for him whose cold and crushing sway no prayer can soften, no appeal can move? Who tramples hearts as others trample clay, yet with a faltering and uncertain tread that might stir up reprisal in the dead? Forced to sit by his side and see his deeds, forced to behold that visage hour by hour, in whose gaunt lines the abhorrent gazer reads a triple lust of gold and blood and power. A soul whom motives fierce yet abject urge, Rome's servile slave and Judah's tyrant scourge. How can I love or mourn or pity him? I, who so long my fettered hands have wrung, I, who for grief have wept my eyesight dim, because while life for me was bright and young, he robbed my youth, he quenched my life's fair ray, he crushed my mind and did my freedom slay. And at this hour, although I be his wife, he has no more of tenderness from me than any other wretch of guilty life, less for I know his household privacy. I see him as he is, without a screen. And by the gods my soul abhors his mien.
Lord Jesus, you were condemned to death for political expediency. Walk with those who are imprisoned for the convenience of the powerful. As you were the victim of unbridled injustice, change the minds and motivations of oppressors and exploiters to your way of peace. Amen. Holy God, holy and strong, holy and immortal, have mercy upon us. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. A reading from the Gospel according to Mark, followed by Roses and Thorns by Richard Henry Stoddard. And they clothed him in a purple cloak, and after twisting some thorns into a crown, they put it on him. And they began saluting him, Hail, King of the Jews! They struck his head with a reed, spat upon him, and knelt down in homage to him. When Jesus Christ was yet a child, he had a garden, small and wild, wherein he cherished roses fair, and wove them into garlands there. Now once as summertime drew nigh, there came a troop of children by, and seeing roses on the tree, with shouts they plucked them merrily. Do you bind roses in your hair? they cried in scorn to Jesus there. The boy said humbly, Take, I pray, all but the naked thorns away. Then of the thorns he made a crown, and with rough fingers pressed it down, till on his forehead, fair and young, red drops of blood like roses sprung. Lord Jesus, you face the torment of barbaric punishment. Walk with those who cry in, out in physical agony and emotional distress. As you endured unbearable abuses, be with those who face torture and mockery in our world today. Amen. Holy God, holy and strong, holy and immortal, have mercy upon us. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. A reading from the Gospel according to Mark. After mocking him, they stripped him of the purple cloak and put his own clothes on him. Then they led him out to crucify him. Jesus of the Scars by Edward Schilito If we have never sought, we seek thee now. Thine eyes burn through the dark, are only stars. We must have sight of thorn pricks on thy brow. We must have thee, O Jesus of the scars. The heavens frighten us, they are too calm. In all the universe we have no place. Our wounds are hurting us. Where is the balm? Lord Jesus, by thy scars we claim thy grace. If, when the doors are shut, thou drawest near, only reveal those hands, that side of thine. 
We know today what wounds are. Have no fear. Show us thy scars. We know the countersign. The other gods were strong, but thou wast weak. They rode, but thou didst stumble to a throne. But to our wounds, only God's wounds can speak. And not a God has wounds, but thou alone. Lord Jesus, you carried the cross through the rough streets of Jerusalem. Walk with all who are loaded with burdens beyond their strength. As you bore the weight of our sins when you carried the cross, help us to realise the extent and the cost of your love for us. Amen. Holy God, holy and strong, holy and immortal, have mercy upon us. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. A reading from the Gospel according to Mark. They compelled a passerby who was coming in from the country to carry his cross. It was Simon of Cyrene, the father of Alexander and Rufus. Simon the Cyrenian speaks by County Cullen. He never spoke a word to me, and yet he called my name. He never gave a sign to me, and yet I knew and came. At first I said, I will not bear his cross upon my back. He only seeks to place it there because my skin is black. But he was dying for a dream, and he was very meek. And in his eyes there shone a gleam men journey far to seek. It was himself my pity bought. I did for Christ alone, what all of Rome could not have wrought with bruise or lash or stone. Lord Jesus, you were worn down by fatigue. Walk with the exhausted and all those from whom life drains all energy. As you needed the help of a passing stranger, give us the humility to receive aid from others. Amen. Holy God, holy and strong, holy and immortal, have mercy upon us. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. A reading from the Gospel according to Luke. A great number of the people followed him, and among them were women who were beating their breasts and wailing for him. But Jesus turned to them and said, Daughters of Jerusalem, do not weep for me, but weep for yourselves and for your children. For the days are surely coming when they will say, Blessed are the barren, and the wombs that never bore, and the breasts that never nursed. Then they will begin to say to the mountains, Fall on us, and to the hills, cover us. For if they do this when the wood is green, 
what will happen when it is dry. Good Friday by Christina Rossetti. Am I a stone and not a sheep, that I can stand, O Christ, beneath thy cross, to number, drop by drop, thy blood's slow loss, and yet not weep? Not so those women loved, who with exceeding grief lamented thee, not so fallen Peter, weeping bitterly, not so the thief was moved, not so the sun and moon, which hid their faces in a starless sky, a horror of darkness at broad noon, I, only I. Yet give not o'er, oh, but seek thy sheep, true shepherd of the flock. Greater than Moses, turn and look once more, and smite a rock. Lord Jesus, as the women of Jerusalem wept for you, move us to tears at the plight of our broken world. You embrace the pain of Jerusalem, the city of peace. Bless Jerusalem this day and lead it to the profound path of profound peace. Amen. Holy God, holy and strong, holy and immortal, have mercy upon us. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. A reading from the Gospel according to Mark. And they crucified him and divided his clothes among them casting lots to decide what each should take. The Agony by George Herbert. Philosophers have measured mountains, fathomed the depths of seas, of states and kings, walked with a staff to heaven and traced fountains. But there are two vast spacious things the which to measure it doth more behove. Yet few there are that sound them, sin and love. Who would know sin, let him repair unto Mount Olivet, there shall he see a man so wrung with pains that all his hair, his skin, his garments bloody be. Sin is that press and vice which forceth pain to hunt his cruel food through every vein. Who knows not love? Let him assay and taste that juice which on the cross a pike did set again a brooch. Then let him say, if ever he did taste the like. Love is that liquor sweet and most divine, which my God feels as blood, but I as wine.
Lord Jesus. You bled in pain as the nails were driven into your flesh. Transform through the mystery of your love the pain of all who suffer today. Amen. Holy God, holy and strong, holy and immortal, have mercy upon us. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. One of the criminals who were hanged there kept deriding him and saying, Are you not the Messiah? Save yourself and us. But the other rebuked him, saying, Do you not fear God, since you are under the same sentence of condemnation? And we indeed have been condemned justly, for we are getting what we deserve for our deeds. But this man has done nothing wrong. Then he said, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. He replied, Surely I tell you, today you will be with me in paradise. O thou unknown, almighty cause of all my hope and fear, in whose dread presence, ere an hour, perhaps I must appear. If I have wandered in those paths of life I ought to shun, as something loudly in my breast remonstrates I have done, thou knowest that thou hast formed me with passions wild and strong, and listening to their witching voice has often led me wrong. Where human weakness has come short, or frailty stepped aside, do thou, all good for such thou art, in shades of darkness hide. Where with intention I have erred, no other plea I have, but thou art good, and goodness still delighteth to forgive. Lord Jesus, even in your deepest agony you listened to the crucified thief. Hear us as we unburden to you our deepest fears. And as you spoke words of love in the hour of your death, help us to be speak words of life and hope to a world in need. Amen. Holy God, holy and strong, holy and immortal, have mercy upon us. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. A reading from the Gospel according to John. When Jesus saw his mother, and the disciple whom he loved standing beside her, he said to his mother, Woman, here is your son. Then he said to the disciple, Here is your mother. And from that hour, the disciple took her into his own home. Always the same hills crowd the horizon. Remote witnesses 
of the still scene. And in the foreground, the tall cross, somber, untenanted, aches for the body that is back in the cradle of a maid's arms. Lord Jesus, your mother and your dearest friend stayed with you to the bitter end, yet even while racked with pain you ministered to them. Be with all broken families today and care for those who are lonely, grieving or who long for companionship. Amen. Holy God, holy and strong, holy and immortal, have mercy upon us. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. A reading from the Gospel according to Mark. At three o'clock Jesus cried out with a loud voice, Aloy, Aloy, Lemma Sabachthani, which means, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? When some of the bystanders heard it, they said, Listen, he is calling for Elijah. When, and someone ran, filled a sponge with sour wine, put it on a stick and gave it to him to drink, saying, Wait, let us see whether Elijah will come to take him down. Then Jesus gave a loud cry and breathed his last. Still Falls the Rain by Dame Edith Sitwell Still Falls the Rain Dark as the world of man, black as our lost, blind as the 1940 nails upon the cross. Still falls the rain, with a sound of, like the pulse of the heart that is changed to the hammer beat, in the potter's field and the sound of the impious feet. On the tomb, still falls the rain. In the field of blood where the small hopes breed and the human brain nurtures its greed, that worm with the brow of Cain still falls the rain at the feet of the starved man hung upon the cross christ that each day each night nails there have mercy on us on dives and on lazarus under the rain the saw and the gold are as one still falls the rain still falls the blood from the starved man's wounded side he bears his heart all wounds those of light that died the last faint spark in the self-murdered heart the wounds of sad hunk comprehending dark the wounds of the baited bear the blind and weeping bear whose the keepers beat on his helpless flesh the tears of the hunted hare still falls the rain then, O, oh, I'll leap up to my God who pulls me down. See, see where the Christ blood streams in the ferment. It flows from the brow we nailed upon the tree. Deep to the dying, the thirsting heart that holds the fires on, of the world, dark smirched with pain as Caesar's laurel crown. Then sounds the voice of one who, like the heart of man, was once a child among beasts has lain. Still do I love still shed my innocent light, my blood for thee.
Lord Jesus, you died on the cross and entered the bleakest of all circumstances. Give courage to those who die at the hands of others. In death you entered the darkest place of all. Illumine our darkness with your glorious presence. Amen. Holy God, holy and strong, holy and immortal, have mercy upon us. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. A reading from the Gospel according to Mark. Then Joseph bought a linen cloth, and taking down the body, wrapped it in the linen cloth, and laid it in a tomb that had been hewn out of the rock. He then rolled a stone against the door of the tomb. A Song for All Maries by Christina Rossetti Our master lies asleep and is at rest. His heart has ceased to bleed, his eye to weep. The sun ashamed has dropped down in the west. Our master lies asleep. Now we are they who weep, and trembling keep vigil, with wrung heart in a sighing breast. While slow time creeps, and slow the shadows creep. Renew thy youth, as eagle from the nest. O master, who hast sown? Arise to reap. No cock crow yet, no flush on eastern crest. Our master lies asleep. Lord Jesus, Lord of all life, you became as nothing for us. Be with those who feel worthless and as nothing in the world's eyes. And as you were laid in a cold, dark tomb and hidden from sight, be with all who suffer and die in secret, hidden from the eyes of the world. Amen. Holy God, holy and strong, holy and immortal, have mercy upon us. Were you there when they crucified my Lord? Were you there when they crucified my Lord?
Were you there when they nailed him to a tree? Were you there when they nailed him to a tree? Oh, 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 oh sometimes it causes me to tremble, tremble, tremble. Were you there when they nailed him to a tree? Were you there when they laid him in the tomb? Were you there when they laid him in the tomb? Oh, 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 oh. sometimes it causes me to tremble, tremble, tremble. Were you there when they laid him in the tomb? Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Most merciful God, who by the death and resurrection of your Son, Jesus Christ, delivered and saved the world, grant that by faith in him who suffered on the cross, we may triumph in the power of his victory. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with us in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Christ was manifested in the body, vindicated in the spirit, seen by angels, proclaimed among the nations, believed in throughout the worlds, and glorified in high heaven. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. The Lord be with you, and also with you. And so may God bless us, that in us may be find, found love and humility, obedience and thanksgiving, discipline, gentleness and peace. Amen. <laughs>